Hi guys, welcome again to Tango and Raya Tutorial. Today we are going to be navigating in Booking.com. In particular, we want to show you the best options that it has for booking flight and not only for booking stays or car rentals. So, the first thing I want to suggest to you about Booking.com is to create an account and try to use it as much as you can. Because they have what is called a unique program where the most that you are booking with them, you get more rewards and you can get uh, free upgrades, uh, welcome drinks, and many other beautiful perks that are cool. So the first thing is that try to create an account. Now also here if you see on the top of the screen, you can choose in which currency you want to see the prices. So in our case we keep it with euro currency because we are located in Spain and choose the language. So as you see there are many options so you will probably find something that is suitable for you. So in our case we keep it in English. And here just immediately after you can see that you have many options in this menu that it is to book a stay, to book flight a hotel package sorry also you can book your car or many other attractions excursions and so on and taxis for the airport today we are going to be focusing on the flight we click here and then as you can see the layout is quite intuitive and similar to any other platform to book flight so we are going to come here a little bit later, but let's scroll a little, you see that you have many other options here, for example, they are just suggesting some particular destination from where you are located. You can go to Budapest, London, Lisbon, Paris. And then you have some other proposal for trending cities like Paris, Madrid, Rome, New York. And you scroll a little bit down, you have also the areas that frequently ask questions, which many times become very useful. But going to the reservation part now, let's say that we want to fly from Barcelona to Paris. At the moment we book in the airport. And the options to, uh, that you have to book a flight are, if you want to make the round trip, so both ways, only one way, because maybe you are combining to another city or you don't know when you are returning, you pick this option. Or the other one is to choose the option multi-city where you can add an amount of cities to combine in your whole itinerary. But today we are going to keep it simple and we are going to choose the round trip. You can as well choose if you want to travel particularly in business, first, economy, or premium. I'm going to keep it simple again in economy and how many of you are traveling or if it is only you. As you see, you can also fly this little box if you want to see display in the result only the direct flights to your destination. We are going to keep it blank to the station and to see more results. And then you can see you have to pick when you want to depart. Let's say we want to depart on 20. And we are going to be returning the 2nd of February. We go to do our search. We give it some time until you find all the options. And voila. As you can see, at the moment we got many results. Yes, because it's a very frequent a flight from Barcelona to Paris is closed, so the options are an alternative are not a few. So in order to shorten down this a little, we are going to take profit of the filters that they offer. If you see here at the left of the screen, you have a few filters to implement. For instance, you can decide if you only want to see direct flights with one stop or if you don't care. In our case, to reduce the level, let's keep it direct flights only. 
you can also define how long you want to travel which for a short trip like this doesn't make sense but if you are traveling to shanghai and, and you find a flight that is 12 hours and then you have many other options it's 24 48 and 18 then you say no i don't want to travel more than 14 then you can set it up here and you will see only that result on top of it you can also choose from what time from what range of time you want to depart and from what range of time you want to uh, return to the city uh, sorry to arrive to the city and then you have the options to make the same choices for the return flight so let's say that we want to depart in the afternoon and we want to return and then There are filters that you have here, for example, is the airline. So if you want to travel with some particular one because you have some membership or you are part of some program where you are going to prefer to travel, then you can pick that one. On the other hand, if there is some airline that you have some bad experiences in the past and you really want to avoid it, you can as well unpick it from here and you will not see it in the result. Now that we have a little of our result shortened down, we can also apply the filters that they are proposing some way of sorting the result. That is the best option, the cheapest, and the fastest. We also love to see the cheapest first, so we are going to stick with that. And we have this flyer, for example, is leaving uh, uh, almost at night, and the return is in the afternoon, so it is okay for us. So we could see the flight to get the details to see exactly where we are departing we are arriving to Orly from Barcelona and returning as well from Orly to Barcelona the flight is operated by Welling they tell you that this includes some small baggage with you if you want to have some extra you need to pay and then you, they tell you if you are part of the program that I was mentioning before Genius you can save money in your hotel reservation, but this is not the case. This will be the total price for our ticket on Broadway, and you can select. Here the good thing is that reservation will happen through booking the directly. So at front of any issue or complaint, or if you need support, cancellation, change date, whatever it is, you can do it directly through booking.com, which makes total sense if you on top of the flight are booking the hotel and even the car as well so you will have a centralized point to organize everything and in case you have any problem you don't have to call too many persons or numbers so here as you see then you can select some more extra perks to to the reservation like if you want a flexible ticket in case you are not sure if you can travel that date or that time you can pick this option we will stick to the standard one and we go Pick it and then you don't have more than field information about the passenger and reserve it. And then, as we said, Booking.com also offers many other options that we are going to navigate in the next tutorials. But just to give you an idea, you can also directly, instead of look separately for states and flights, you can take profit of the packages that are already on booking.com and just look for the destination and see if they have something prepared that is of your interest. So this is all for booking.com and how to book a flight here and try to get the best prices. If you have a question or some doubt, please don't hesitate and leave a comment below. If you like, also you can subscribe to get the latest updates on our tutorials and our trips. Please don't forget to visit our blog www.tangoandrakia.com Thanks for watching and we hope to see you around soon. Thank you.